My name is Libby Schrader, and what I love about songs is that you can take a really big idea and distill it down to just a couple of words. Those words could be, all you need is love, or they could be, if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. The song that I'm going to be playing today is called War on Science. Libby, we just listened to a tremendous performance of War on Signs. I am blown away by this song, by your performance capability, by the lyrics in this song. Um, deeply heartfelt, uh, very touched by this song, in fact. Where did this song come from? What's the story behind it? What's the story behind the song? Well, the funny thing about this is that I actually had a melody that came into my head, 
and I was just sort of hearing the melody over and over and I had very weird lyrics coming into my head and I was like making a war on science, taking yeah. a vow of You're silence. You're taking something out on somebody in this song. But the thing is that I just came up with this funny lyric and I was like, well, that's kind of a cool lyric and, it's, and it rhymed with vow of silence and I was like, well, I got to make a song out of that. I have no idea what it's about. Do you have an inner nun in you or something? I don't know. Maybe. Probably, actually. I think I probably do have an inner nun. Do you have formal uh, piano training? I took piano lessons for a long time as a kid, yeah, mm -hmm. and I have a degree in classical music as okay. well, so it's music all the way. Do you find that, that that helps or hinders when you're writing songs? What I find with classical training helps me is, is that it helps me to be able to execute all of the things that I hear. Mm -hmm. I hear lots of things, and um, if I, I know that if, if I only had limited piano skills, I wouldn't be able to execute all the ideas. Like in More on Science, I've got that whole mm -hmm. piano lick, and I know exactly what harmony I want to put in at what time. I was worried you were going to break the piano there. I mean, you're, t you're really going at it there. Well, yeah, that's, that's the most fun thing about being a pianist. You have a lot of performance experience as well, and you've been on, on tour with some pretty pretty big people. Who, who are some of the folks you've been on tour with? Um, I opened a few times for Jewel. For Jewel, okay. And um, there's also an artist named Poe that mm -hmm, I toured sure. the country with. Um, and just other little gigs here and there. I opened for Rusted Root, Michelle Branch, uh -huh. um, India Ari. It's really fun. So in War on Science, you're saying, um, or, and correct me if I'm wrong, I, I spent the loneliest day of the year in gloom? Yes. In gloom. People are like, is it in glue or, or is it in That's gloom? what I thought at first. <laughs> in gloom. No, it's, I spent the longest day of the The year longest day. In gloom. Okay. What what got you down? What 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 was on your mind? Oh, just some guy. Some guy. <laughs> some guy that didn't like me. That's what that's what that song's about, really. So it would be a, or was it on, actually on the summer solstice, the longest day of the year? Or are you taking some liberty um, with that? It was on the summer solstice, yes. It was. It was. So it's literal. That one was. But I you're knew the first it. person who ever noticed that. I knew it. <laughs> I, I you're got the a first sense. First person who ever noticed that. So this is this is a this is you channeling an actual life experience into this yeah. song. Yeah, yeah. Though I have to admit that the summer solstice aspect of it is a different life experience than the rest of the song. Yeah. So are you singing this song to that person? Yes. Do you think they know it? No. No. They definitely. Well, don't. they might find out now. They won't. They won't. <laughs> <laughs> if um. If you could be wined and dined, swept off your feet by any singer-songwriter out there today, um, who might you choose? Well, anybody who's been on the Jimmy Lloyd showcase oh, okay. knows that Jimmy Lloyd is the man oh. to do that. Well, I'm taken. I'm sorry. Oh, very sad. Who else? There's at least one other um, in the world, I'm sure. Probably Bono. Bono, okay. If I could have Bono take me out, that would be great. I just like to pick his brain. Pick his brain? Yeah. Yeah. Is U2 a big influence on you? U2 is my biggest influence. And it's funny because when you're a girl playing the piano, nobody's going to think that. And he often has a little bit of religious imagery in there. Yeah. But it's subtle. And I, I do that too, you know, taking a vow of silence. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I do it in other songs of mine as well. Yeah. I just kind of like throwing that in just to add a little bit of color. I was raised Episcopalian. Went to a lot of services. Well, my and condolences. <laughs> Um, well, we thoroughly enjoyed your performance in here. Um, I think you're one of, the, one of the greatest performers that we've had thus far. Wish you the absolute best of success Thank in your you career. Thank you. Thank you.